Hey, friends, I had a friend, Jenny, who's a listener, recently send me this post by this transgender person. My friend, Jenny, actually went to high school with this girl, and now she's transitioned to be a man. She goes by the name Connor. So let's just read this post. I found it really, really intriguing. It says, hey, God, it's me. I know we don't talk as much as we used to. Old me was told that I had to get up before the sun and spend my early morning speaking to you. And I better not dare fall asleep while on my knees. I grew up being told how you viewed people like me. And I guess I just want to ask you directly, do you call me Connor? Or when I say that you call, when you say that you call us by our name, does that not mean that I'm only known up there by my dead name? Do you shudder when you see my body? Some people have told me you do. Or do you laugh at me because I'm finally happy? When I die, am I going to be male or female? Or do people in heaven live outside the Western idea of gender? I guess these are just some random thoughts of a person in deconstruction who's trying to make you proud, whoever you are. Thanks for listening, Connor. I thought this was really intriguing, and I thought it was also really tragic. I want to break down some of what she said here uh, first of all dead name is the name that someone used to go by the name that they were given be you know by their parents until they transition genders and it's, it's a cultural faux pas uh and it's offensive to call someone by their dead name and so many families have to deal with that and it's it's so hard to navigate so do you call me by my name uh you know uh do you shudder when you see my body it's like god doesn't shudder he's not surprised by your choices and the sin in your life but uh he he he's mourning he is uh there's going to be justice and reckoning because of your rejection of him um do you shudder when you see my body some people have told me you do it's like ah that's tragic that people have to say stuff like that or do you uh laugh with me because i'm finally happy i don't think that there's a lot of happiness in Connor's life. This shows this tragic reality of this deep wrestling. And I don't think that transitioning genders has made Connor happy like the world told her that she would be happy. She says, when I die, am I going to be male or female? Uh, Or do people in heaven live outside the Western idea of gender? You will be female because that's how God made you. Gender is forever. Even marriage is only for... uh, on this time on earth, but gender is forever. We're engendered. We're created with this body. God was so intentional in how he created us, both male and female in his image. Gender is not an idea of Western culture. It's not this Western idea. It's It goes back to Genesis. He made them male and female. It's at the very core of who he created us to be. And someday your gender will be restored. Someday Uh, Your body will be fully woman again, even though it is now your DNA to its core is still female, but God will undo what you've done to your body to try to transition. Maybe that'll be in heaven, but maybe heaven isn't your eternal destination right now. And so this is so tragic. Uh, God loves you. God wants uh, you to come to know him. God wants to redeem and restore what your fallen heart has made broken, including your gender. And so he loves you. And I think this is so intriguing that Connor uh, said, I guess these are just some random thoughts of a person in deconstruction who's trying to make you proud. You're striving to make God proud. You don't have to do that. Come to him just as you are. Come to him and his his yoke is easy and his burden is light. You don't have to strive. You are loved. You are valued. You are made in God's image. And for the rest of us, uh, let's pray for this person. Let's pray for Connor that she would come to know Jesus, that she'd realize that she's been lied to by the world, but that there is hope and there is peace available for her and there is restoration. 